So today we're gonna to be talking about audio for video. All right, so audio is one of the more important things in your video. It's one of those things that is very easily overlooked, um, especially if you're starting from a photography standpoint, because in photography, you don't really think about audio at all. All right, so if you are coming from a photography standpoint, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is to buy a mic. All right, so as a photographer, when I wanted to venture into video and I needed audio, the first thing I bought was a microphone. And the first microphone I got was this little guy right here. All right, so it's called a Video Micro, and it's uh, available online almost anywhere for like $60. This is one of the better mics out there just because it comes with everything you need it to be. Um, so it's a, it's a shotgun style of mic. Comes with a little, uh, what they call a dead cat. Uh, you kind of just put it in, it's for, it's for the wind. So if you are, let's say if you're vlogging outside, if you're recording video in a windy situation, this could help kind of eliminate that wind noise. And you kind of just plug it in directly to the microphone port in your camera if it has one. Now, if your camera doesn't have one, then I recommend buying a separate recorder so that you can record audio uh, separately and then sync it up in video or in the editing process. All right, so if you already have a mic, but you also want to get a recorder, the recorder I recommend is the Tascam DR05. That's the one I have. And that's the one I'm using to record this right now. So I got that recorder for about 100 bucks. Uh, almost anywhere online you'll find for 100 bucks. There's another one called the Zoom H1, uh, which is its direct competitor. Either one works. So the great thing about having an external recorder to do your audio is that you can have two sources of um, audio, right? So you can have your internal mic, and your camera recording as well as the external microphone that way you'll have uh, kind of a backup audio the second good thing about having an external recorder is that you can put your mic as close to yourself as possible so this is a different kind of mic i have on here it's the uh, rode uh, video mic pro i believe the closer it is to me the better we'll talk more about that in a few seconds but i can put my mics closer to me because it's hooked up externally i can just sync it up later in post all right, so you have a mic and you have a recorder or you just directly put it in your camera. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is to position your mic properly so you can get better audio for your video. All right, so the general tip for recording audio for your video is to keep the mic as close to the uh, source of the sound as possible. So in this case, it's my face. You want the mic as close as possible. In this case, it's about this far away from my face. Uh, I know it's, it's helpful for recording. Uh, cleaner audio. All right, so this is an example of the mic being right next to my face, about three inches from me. All right, so I'm gonna move my mic over to where my camera is. I'm gonna make sure it's hitting the same decibels, uh, and we're gonna see how that changes the mic or the audio quality. One, two, one, two. Yeah, yep, it's hitting the same ones. The only difference with this one is that this one is placed right next to my camera, so it should pick up also some background noise that might be picking up uh, the little fan over there. So this would be a good example of the mic being right next to the camera, not so, not as close as it can be to the source of audio. So these are just a few tips on what to think about when you are doing some audio for video, especially coming from a photographer's perspective. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, and let me know what you guys want to see next time.